from the Hollers and Hills of West Virginia. It's Heavenly Hills Homestead with another episode. Stay tuned. Right, guys good morning good morning good morning beautiful morning here beautiful morning look at that is that not just beautiful well anyhow ain't got no more time for talking gotta get you back here and get the pumpkin ready to lift so uh chris rodeball is on his way over and we are going to lift this pumpkin so uh without further ado let's go on back here and uh start prepping stuff right you gotta start prepping so we're gonna have to move the trampoline out of the way got to move the water tank out of the way and all that stuff so uh anyhow it's a lot of work but we're gonna get it done all this plant has to be removed and gone out of here and then back here to the very back we go so let's get it done
All right, guys. Uh, so here's the main that goes to this. We got the pumpkin loaded. She's gone. All right. Ain't that cool? So I want to thank Chris Rodeball. Thank you so much for coming over, helping me lift that big girl. I know what she weighs. I know what she weighs. Any guesses on what she weighs and what she'll weigh tomorrow at the way off? Huh? Any guesses, anybody? I know. I already know. We weighed her when we lifted her. All right. So anyways, let me show you this real quick. Look at all that water. This I, I cut this vine this morning and all this, look at the water dripping. See it? All this water right here. See it? See all that water? That's all from that plant. Okay? That's how much water that plant was sucking up and had in her. When I cut her, she went and gushed out all that water. So she was still sucking up tons and tons and tons of water. There's the stem on her. Look inside of her. Look inside. Look at all that water in there. Y'all see it? see it in there or not it's anyway she's filled with water nice nice looking we'll try to dig all this out here in a little bit so y'all can get a better look at the roots and where the roots were and how the roots were um we'll take a look at her mane we got uh we got a bunch and bunch that's a beautiful wheel shaped pumpkin i love the look of that pumpkin i hope she ends up finishing out growing um so anyways Let's see here. We got all of it removed. Ain't it? it looks a lot different on it. Look at these main, or excuse me, not the mains, but the, these are secondary vines, guys. Look at this secondary. Is that not crazy? Secondary. So, I mean, you can see some of the vines have done rotted off. I mean, that, look at that, look how big a secondary is. That one, there's one up here. I mean, here's one, here's a, Secondary, look at that. It's crazy how big those secondaries were. But we got her out of there. We got her out. We'll take a more look at this here in a little bit and, and stuff. There she is. Ain't she pretty? Ain't she pretty? I'm I am tickled. I am tickled plum pink, man. That is so cool looking in the back of my truck. <laughs> I love it. So uh, we're gonna pull around front and uh let everybody look at her when they go by today. And we're going to get out of here tomorrow morning bright and early. Head to Yakin Valley where we're going to try to place within the top five. So let's go on about the rest of our day. Get this mess all cleaned up and, and uh, enjoy it, right? Beautiful, beautiful day. You good? she is y'all loaded in the back <laughs> man i'm i'm tickled plum pink with that ain't y'all are y'all happy about it huh are y'all happy i want to know are y'all as happy as i am because let me tell you <laughs> i'm extremely happy i am extremely happy yes sir yes sir yes sir i'm extremely happy that pumpkin. What's your problem, Tunyas? Uh, waggy, waggy. You wagging your tail, Tunya? Huh? That's my girl, Tunya. Come here, Tunya. That's your little girl. Oh, she done got Wilbur started. Oh, God. I snapped a pumpkin off the vine down here, too, y'all. Y'all want to see it? I was going, I'll 
thought about leaving her and then I had to get the foam out from underneath her to put underneath that pumpkin in the back of the truck. <laughs> she gives them chickens all kinds of grief. That's funny. Anyways, um, had to, uh, that pig's funny. Anyway, had to, uh, get the foam out from underneath butt crack here and <laughs> foam broke and so did butt crack. She came right off. Look at her. Came off good though, so no complaints. She came, she must have been ready to come off because I mean, it was, it just come off easily. I'm gonna try to get these two out of here today. That one and this one here and get them up to the front yard. So. All right guys, on to the All right, guys, we're gonna try to grab these two big uh, pumpkins out of here and then go on and do some more work. So let's get to it. quick and show you the bottom of this pumpkin she's got her blossom end right there like that just crazy how that drew like that got some uh, spots in her hair but doesn't go into the cavity so that's good don't really know how uh, she got wet like this thing that she was on the on that stuff until unless it got like it last night where I had to earn no I just pulled that out this morning so yeah it had to be this morning anyhow um, she shouldn't she should have been drier than this I'd have thought on the bottom but well, she's not but I tell you what every one of them look at there that's a growth crack growth crack growth crack growth crack look at all these growth cracks right here that is definitely gonna be a pumpkin you want to save seeds out of because that was it was putting on plus <clears throat> the plant the plant did amazing i mean it i mean i pulled it up you know and uh by the roots and planted it and it, and it grew so <clears throat> doing good looks real good um I'm, I'm happy with it look at all that growth on here i didn't realize it was that bad that it had that many growth cracks in it but there definitely had a bunch of them, man. Look at all of them. They all healed up nicely. No, we ain't dealing with no book, no, no yellow jackets and stuff. <clears throat> all right, so anyhow, I'm gonna try to get her on the back of the side by side and get her up there to the front yard. Once I get her up there, <clears throat> um, put some sulfur on her and, uh, and get her up on a board or something just to get her get her uh, up off the ground and then probably start trying to sell these rascals so i don't know so i just i have a hard time selling them to be honest with you <laughs> so <clears throat> but when you're getting 60 cents to a dollar 50 a pound uh or you know the potential to uh why not right why not sell them so let's let's get back at it Okay, guys, I just want to clarify once again that this pumpkin right here was grown in 75 square foot. Now, here's how I got the measurement. So, actually, I mean, it was crowded by all the rest of the pumpkins. Here's the, here's the stump that goes to uh, that 1378 new, the plumber's crack we just pulled out there. There's the stump to it. Looks good, don't it? <clears throat> Anyways, here was my line. Yes, she did go over the line. Okay, she she went over it. But I mean, that was when she because when she started growing, she grew that way. Okay, but she's she's. I mean, you see that much of her. 
is on that side, all right? Um, you see your main runs right here, and right on out through there, okay? And it ends out right over there. So I met, she don't have any secondaries. You can look on this pumpkin plant. See, this, this don't go to her. This is not hers. This is another plant, okay? That goes out that way, all right? But you can look on this plant right here and there is no secondaries except for that one right there, all right? That one right there. And then the one that was over here on this side that went underneath her. Those were the only two secondaries on this whole plant. And you can look, I didn't cut any off, you know? You can see here for yourself. It just did not grow any secondaries. It grew none, okay? And uh, there's that secondary right there. See it? Goes right there. Back there, it's connected, and here's the end of it right here, okay? There's no more to it. So those are the only two secondaries that was on it. <clears throat> she went that way and ended out up there. So I measured her length, okay, and ended up being if i just measured the length of it <clears throat> and did a, a rough estimate by how long and width how long and how wide this one was and that measurement into it okay i got 75 square foot um and that was being that was being pretty generous on giving measurement i would say roughly uh it was more like it was more like 20 or excuse me it was more like uh um, it was more like 65 square foot if we're going to be honest but because I didn't want to cheat myself or you know whatever I just made I just gave it extra and said that it was 75 square foot that this plant was grown in 70 and this pumpkin was grown in 75 square foot okay now we'll get this I actually looked at okay and everything um probably i don't know might be able to get it on a scale i'm not sure but i'm pretty i'm pretty for certain it you know once i get it taped and everything i'm gonna end up with a pumpkin that's you know probably five ish hundred pounds and that was in a 75 square foot uh area so next year what i want to do is i want to i want to actually uh have a a a contest okay a 75 square foot contest who can grow the biggest pumpkin in 75 square foot that's all we're allowed to have 75 square foot mark it out measure it grow you your biggest pumpkin all right and then what i'll do is uh i'll put up some money for the largest pumpkin grown in 75 square foot for the year next year all right so that's what i'll do um so anyways we're going to clean out this plant Get it all, get the plant cleaned out and get her ready to roll her right on out. And I'll do like I did with the other one. I'll put carpet down, strap it and all that good stuff. And heave ho her on up there. All right, so let's get her down. winch so you got to put it back together real quick i okay, got the winch fixed um didn't give y'all very much of an overview yesterday of how i done this so i get me a piece of carpet like this okay i lay my strap down on the ground all the way through about center of the carpet okay and then um, this strap right here will be for going side to side anyways roll your pumpkin down here on top of it okay and get it to where it's sitting more right here so you can take the back the strap and the carpet up and over and meet it up here to the top closer to the front of the pumpkin okay and kind of like a sandwich it in and then what you'll do is you'll take the that strap right there and you'll go around the pumpkin circumference wise all right and then um after you do that you'll take your bottom strap and you'll go up through your side straps 
all right and uh both eyes of the side structure go up through both of them and then you'll uh, connect your winch to the bottom and the top of the strap that's on, on underneath the carpet all right so uh so it'll be like it'll look like this okay and your strap will be coming around there and then here at the mouth is where everything will meet at meet up at up here at the mouth of the carpet and then you'll just sandwich it all together and use your winch to link it all tighten your winch up and then just start backing up or or uh you know pulling with the winch whatever you got to do okay so i'm gonna get this set on time lapse and and start start doing what we gotta do Let's uh, take a little look down here at, uh, at what we got done today. So, um, yeah, you have to check and see what we got done. I've got a thumping headache. I pray it goes away because it's really thumping bad. Um, anyhow, wait, don't will be. Uh, we got all this. Don't that look different? <laughs> so, butt cracks up there, and uh, so is Casper. Casper's up there. We got the butternut turned up and in. Okay, so we got two of them going to be growing up in here. I'll come out here Sunday or something and bury vines on that butternut, you know, and, and do whatever I got to do to get her growing some more. The rest of that in there, just that pumpkin mane, it's done and dead. Um, so this down here, I'm debating whether to keep on letting it grow or not. I don't know, now that I've cut everything, off of it, I'm hoping some of them other ones will finish out and grow at least a couple more of those uh, ones that had pollinated in there and maybe grow a little bit faster now that the rest of them's cut off. Um, we'll go up here, take a look at, uh, look here, Pawpaw's pumpkin, ain't it pretty? Pawpaw's pumpkin is beautiful. Big old nice orange and white. That's a nice little yard pumpkin, little porch pumpkin. It's an Atlantic giant too. My crosses, they didn't get planted in time, I don't guess, so they're not gonna do nothing probably. <sighs> it's, uh, I had uh, one guy stop and said that he had frost last night on top of his house, about three miles out the road here. He's on top of a mountain. He, and he very well could have. So I'm not debating that he didn't, but didn't have any here, thank God. And uh, so, and if I find frost out here on any of my stuff, um, I'll just come out with a water hose and water hose it all down. All right, so y'all see butt crack sitting there and Casper. All right, so uh, there's old plumber's crack in Casper. Casper ain't white no, really white no more. She's pretty big and colorful there. Colorful there. There's old plumber's crack. Thought about maybe taking it with me. Seeing if I couldn't get a little something for it, but eh, we won't we won't fool with it today. Um, she's got a lot of green in her. She was super white. Now she's got a lot of green and a lot of orange and with a lot of cream on her. Of course, she's been covered up with that green, man. How in the world does a Howard deal turn green? I don't know. Uh, it's 824 over here. Now she's a pretty orange. Uh, 
beautiful ones and so was that 824 right there but uh nowhere near the she's heavy she's heavy and she, she's you know good nice pumpkin but that one there that was a beast getting up here in the yard i mean it was a beast was not fun at all okay so let's track back here to the backyard real quick oh yeah i got the pumpkin wrapped up got her wrapped i got some water on her stem now i've seen i've seen it done both ways i've seen people not put any water on the stem i've seen people put water on the stem all right i've seen people put cut it after before the before the stem and after the stem on the main and soak both ends in buckets of water all right um i don't know uh when you got big time growers that you know put their pumpkins in water uh i just kind of tend to tend to go with them not not nothing wrong with it Probably going to be in them flush again. So anyhow, we'll fool with that another day. Either that or I'll take it apart and turn it into another another uh, greenhouse and buy a new one next year. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyhow, um, what I was saying is, is I've seen people put it up, put water on and not put water on it. And, I don't know if it does or if it doesn't help, okay? Um, but when you got big time growers that put it on there, I, I kind of think it helps. I mean, I don't know. I mean, who knows, right? I mean, but here's the thing. If there's any, I don't want to lose any weight, none at all. I want to keep all my weight that I got, you know? Um, I just... It's just like the stem, like the leaves and stuff thing, you know, I hate taking my leaves off of my plants and stuff. So uh, I'm kind of that same way with uh, with my pumpkin and, and you know, back on it and fell. And, um, and letting it, uh, not letting it have some water. I'm just thinking, well, if it even saves a pound, a pound to me is a lot, you know, right now. Um, other thing is I've heard that the wind beating against them can actually uh, actually take and hurt, you know, draw some moisture out of them with the wind beating against them. So I covered them up just, just to be safe. I mean, I don't want to lose not a pound, okay? If anything, I want to gain a half a pound, all right? Don't want to lose a pound, but I want to try to gain a pound or a half a pound or a quarter pound, whatever I can gain, I want to gain something. All right, so uh, with that being said, I don't know if it helps it probably doesn't all right there's probably it but and the wind probably doesn't take any moisture out of them but again i don't know so i'm just going to take precautions also another reason why to cover it up is when people see a pumpkin on the back of your vehicle that big they will act like a pure idiot not being mean but they will they'll act like a pure idiot just trying to get a picture of that giant pumpkin on the back of that vehicle or on that trailer and then they'll cause an accident all right and uh, and maybe wreck you and your family and hurt y'all or, or somebody else all right so it's best to just cover them up you know and and just just go on down the road um you know annie took it out today she had to run out the road to get some stuff and when she took it out everybody and her brother was gawking at that thing right and uh and stuff and, I, and then she told me and i i said oh man i forgot to tell you that people would do that um, so it's just, it's more of a safety issue. I don't care if you're looking at that pumpkin. I don't care if you follow me to where I stop so you can look at that pumpkin, but please just be safe about it. All right. Don't, don't cause no accidents. Don't be silly and be fooling with your phone, trying to get pictures of it. If somebody else is in the vehicle, have them take a picture of it. Okay. I've had plenty of people today stop by here in front of the house. Cause we got it turned around in the, in the yard uh, or in the driveway so that everybody could see it. And I've had plenty of people stop and take pictures and talk to me and look at it and stuff. And they've lived here for years and ain't never said a word to me. All right. Uh, so that's cool. You know, it's cool. So anyhow, we're going to wrap these uh, these pumpkins up. I'm going to put a light. Uh, well, I got a light on that one. So I'm going to get it turned on on that. Cover these up and go inside. Boy, look, that is just beautiful out there. So let's go over here to the other side of the yard and get you a better shot of the, of the uh, sunset. Well, guys, that's what we got going on. I'm gonna try to video as much as I can tomorrow at Yakin Valley 
Elkin, uh, I think it is, uh, North Carolina, Yakton Valley, North Carolina. Um, we're gonna go down there, gonna weigh this pumpkin up. Y'all go on ahead and put your guesses in there on how much she's gonna weigh tomorrow. I already know what she weighed today. All right, so let's see what she'll weigh tomorrow. Um, but yeah, again, thank you for coming over, Chris, and helping me load her up. That was a big help, and I couldn't have done it without you. And uh, I really appreciate that. So, uh, guys, we appreciate you watching. We'll see you tomorrow right here in the Hollers and Hills of West Virginia. Don't forget to smash that like button. Hit that notification bell. Don't forget to share. Thank you, good sir. You're welcome. And subscribe.